Hi, my name is Justin Schelf. I'm the founder and run our engineering team here at Patch My PC. In this video, we're going to review some of the new features that came out in Config Manager 1910 current branch with regards to third party software update catalogs and how it might affect you if you're using our catalog. So there's some pretty big improvements with the in console publishing. Uh, the two main ones are that you can now configure a custom sync schedule. So instead of it being every seven days like it used to be, you now can control how often you want to sync our third party software update catalog directly in the console. The other big improvement is uh, filtering of catalog. So previously it would have published every single update within the catalog. And now you have an option to choose based on categories that we define on our catalog side. So uh, just a quick overview on the comparison and some of the things that changed within this new release is uh, you can kind of see what we have going on with regards to the SCCM in console publishing, which we can see here, and then our publishing service, which will give you a few more customizations. So about 90% of our customers are actually using our publishing tool rather than the in console publishing. Uh, but with regards to a comparison, the new features that came out in 1910 enabled these two new options, which would be customizing the sync schedule, as well as uh, publishing updates with full content. So these are two really awesome features if you do prefer to use the in-console publishing of SCCM that are now available. So uh, if you're using the in-console publishing, 1906 uh, and before, up until 1806, did not allow any way to choose customizations with filtering. So what we did when we released our catalog that supported 1806, we essentially allowed you to put a custom product parameter uh, within the catalog URL that you would have if you only wanted to add a specific product for publishing within your SCCM console. This wasn't very convenient because essentially if you came into the console, you would have to create a separate catalog for each product. Uh, this also caused us to have to maintain a lot more catalogs on the back end. Um, so what's going to be changing with 1910 uh, is we no longer have to do this. So there's a new catalog format that we now support where we can actually build filtering directly into the single catalog in SCCM 1910 and newer, understand how to take advantage of those new filtering options. So we do plan to stop updating our custom filter catalogs by URL on January 1st, 2020. So keep that in mind. If you were using a custom catalog and you had a custom product parameter, uh, we're no longer going to be updating those product specific URLs starting January 1, now that there's filtering in the main catalog. So to show you how this would affect you uh, and what this new feature looks like, if you come in here and simulate adding a catalog, okay, so I went ahead and filled in that data. Now, when we click next and subscribe, we're gonna see a new list of features that we now have with regards to the sync schedule as well as uh, the filters. So if we go ahead and click on next, we choose next here. We will have to accept the cert since we're adding this for the first time. Do next here. Now here's some of the new features. Um, so our catalog has actually been using this new format since about 1904 tech preview. So we were working with the product group to ensure that once this feature comes out, which ended up being Config Manager 1910, we were ready to take advantage from that from day one. So for example, if you were to come into a uh, V3 catalog, which ours is, when you go to subscribe uh, to that catalog, you're gonna be able to filter to specific updates that you actually wanna publish. So for example, uh, if we wanted to go ahead and get Firefox, uh, let's do ENUS. Here we go, and we'll just do the 32-bit version. Uh, so we'll go ahead and choose that we only wanna sync that specific product rather than everything. Now, in addition to only syncing that product, we can also choose whether we wanna publish that product with full content. So previously, you could only publish catalogs with metadata only, and it would publish every single update within that catalog, which, uh, especially for driver catalogs, could really bloat WSUS and potentially cause some scanning impact because their catalogs are quite large, some of them exceeding four or 5,000 updates. So uh, we'll choose filter, and here's that new sync option for the schedule. So we could say, we wanna sync this new catalog every one day, since we generally have about four to five catalog updates per week. So this option is also quite helpful. And then we'll choose next here. Now we'll wait a few minutes to let that sync uh, happen in the background. Now, if you already had a catalog pre-configured uh, that 
was in use before SCCM 1910, you would just want to go to that catalog and choose to uh, subscribe to it again. So if you had one that already existed in here for Patch My PC, as long as it was using the, the main catalog URL and not a product specific URL, you could just come in and click subscribe and that should allow you to see the new categories and full content publishing as well as the custom synchronization. So we'll give this a pause for a couple seconds and allow that catalog to sync and then uh, publish that Mozilla Firefox update. Now, here we are in the SMS ISV update sync agent log. We can see that it still goes through the whole catalog, but what it will do is it will skip all the updates that are not in a category that you enabled. So it's not gonna publish those to WSUS uh, and worry about having to uh, bloat that WSUS database. So this category feature can be quite helpful, especially for large catalogs that make use of the new format. Now, in our case, we did already have uh, Firefox published with full content from our publishing service, but in the event that you're using the console and this was your first time subscribing, you would also see the update download with full content from Mozilla servers. And then what would happen the next time you run a software update point sync, you would then see it come in with full content using the green icon where you could then use ADRs and deploy it like a typical Microsoft update. So quite a few improvements. Now, one of the big things we did want to mention in this video is we will no longer be supporting the product specific URL starting January 1. So you're going to want to make sure that you get to SCCM um, 1910 or newer, and then you subscribe and choose the categories that you want. And that's going to be the way that you can start filtering by product if you are using the in console publishing rather than our publishing service. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.